What's going on salty friends? Welcome back to another video. Joshua here with saltyscales.com. So today's a beautiful day guys. We are actually going to on-site marine right now and today we're going to be installing a brand new 300 horsepower Suzuki on the action craft. If you haven't seen we've been doing a lot of remodeling. The boat has been completely made over and everything from custom castaway sea deck to, I mean, me and Chris scrubbed the snot out of that thing to uh, new electronics by a hummingbird and trolling motors by Minn Kota. Uh, we've done a lot, new upholstery. So it's been a cool process to watch, but today's the day that we install the brand new motor. So stay tuned, head it over to Onsite Marine, Thompson Auto Parts in Ruskin. It should be a good time. Let's go. What's up? What's going on, man? You good to be on camera? Yeah, that's fine right. with me. What's your name? Kyle. All right, Kyle. He's going to be helping put this baby on. You know what, what it is. The 300 Zoop Zoop. How y'all been doing today? Good, have it yourself. Oh, living the dream, you know. Ready to get out there and go fishing again? Yeah, that'd be nice. Oh, man. It's Oh, the old, it's all rested out. Yeah, I bet it is. This one had a, this thing broke off. Get them all cleaned up? Yep, put some new bolts in there. You gotta admit, that's a cozy little work spot, ain't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. They're ca catering to more repowers than anything. So we need that. Don't need that. Yeah, so basically yeah. this is our basic installation kit. So we've got our oils, we've got our wiring harness, our new gauges for it, um, and then our uh, stern tube. So we cleaned it up real nice with the stern tube. We put a new uh, fuel filter on it as well. No, th this is something Suzuki puts in, in as on the package. So okay. everything you see here is a package deal. This is Suzuki's new proprietary gauge. So one gauge for the whole motor? Yep. And then it interfaces right into your NEMA 2000 um, right here. So if you want to interface into your um, Garmin, Simrad or whatever, you just plug your plug this into your NEMA backbone and you can get all the information that's on this gauge, you can get on your uh, instruments as well. Hand, new hand control. That's electric, right? Yes, it's all electric, you, electronic shifting. You uh, recommend the electric over the cable? <laughs> yes, it's a lot more user friendly than the, than the cable. Now what about reliability? I have not seen the first problem out of the electronic shifters. Billion, or $2.5 billion worth of work.
So you know it's been a minute since the Hummingbird has been officially put on. We had to buy this special bracket from Hummingbird, which I didn't like that I had to spend an extra 80 bucks just to put this on, uh, install it. Gonna slide in the hole here. Snug as a bug. All right, we'll hand tighten these and then we'll tighten them with the wrench. And then we'll put these on the ends here and we're good to go. plate for here so we got the shiny part here and we got a doll edge here we're gonna make this doll edge shiny first thing you do you take a piece of sandpaper and sand this edge with a 400 grit sandpaper to 600 grit and then you just take a torch and lightly torch it and now you lose that doll edge All right guys, so we had a little bit of a dilemma. James at Road Shop just set us up for failure here. Uh, all seriousness, we got the uh, acrylic piece put on. James had just rewired this, as you know, and there's a uh, fuse box right here. So Chris, with OnSite, has only a couple options as to where we gotta put this. We're gonna put the key here, and then the little push button switch right above it. So that's all we had. The only other option we had was to turn this sideways and put it down here and then put this switch up here. I think the idea of stacking them is the way to go. What do you think? Yeah, that way everything's close by. You got your key switch right there. You got your push button right there. Yeah, I, um, I, it was kind of weird it, to have keep to, it close by. to switch down here and then maybe push a button up here. So I think we got it figured out. James? There's what we call a boat module in here. So it's a separate computer from the motor. You got the motor computer and then you got the boat computer. The boat computer talks to the motor computer and tells you what the throttle position is and the shifting position is. So we got to program those positions now. So it's asking you all the positions to put the throttle in? Correct. It's trying to learn its communication, its language. Correct. Do you know how many gallons of fuel this thing has? 75. 70. Oh, in the boat right now? No, no, uh, the tank. The tank. Oh, it's a 75 gallon tank. 75 gallon tank. Okay. Because that's what it's showing currently, it's full of fuel. Sometimes they, uh, okay. Clean, yeah. So, they, how many miles down. do you expect this to get? Um, it's probably going to be close to two and a half, three miles per gallon. That's what I'm guessing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, Chris has got it all rigged up. Him and the team have been working on this the last couple of days, removed the old motor, mounted the new one. Now it's time to fire her up to see if it actually starts. Yep. Are you confident? I'm pretty confident. <laughs> all right, and stay tuned, guys. We're actually gonna be doing a video on the break-in. Chris is gonna be with us on that day, too. And he's gonna tell you exactly how to break in your new Suzuki. Uh, so that'll be a good video to stay tuned, but hey, Let's hear this thing purr. Fire in a row.
listen to her purr. What you think about that? She sounds so good. Tell them how quiet it is compared to the Honda. It's super quiet. So guys, the Honda obviously is a 15 year old motor. I don't know, 16 year old motor. I give it to the Honda motor because it was very quiet for its age, but it's really cool considering this is 300 horsepower and it's definitely much quieter than the Honda. And I'm looking forward to getting it out there on the sea trial. Well, stay tuned guys. Those videos are coming. You got to see her from start to finish. Chris was kind enough to show us the process. If you're around this area guys, within a 15, 20 mile radius especially, and you need your Suzuki serviced, you need to get a repower, come and talk to Chris with Onsite Marine or Thompson Auto Parts. And uh, I'm sure he'll be able to hook you up with the best deal that he can. Thank you guys. All right guys, until next time, We'll see you on the water.